Hello everyone, this is my presentation on Pitch Your Gen for Research Competition 2021. Uh, my name is Rizky Octavian, I'm originally from Indonesia, and now I'm a PhD student at the School of Nuclear Engineering Purdue University. I would like to present my work on advanced nodal method for sodium cooled fast reactor core analysis. Here, uh, let's get started. What if I told you that there are kinds of nuclear reactors that can utilize nuclear waste or spent fuel into the reactor. Uh, one kind of this reactor is the sodium cooled fast reactor that can also act as breeder reactor. It means that this reactor can generate more fuels than it consumes, which is too good to be true, right? Um, the problem is the reactor has some challenge to design because this is so uh, this is an advanced reactor, and and also it uses hexagonal geometry, which is different than the standard like water reactor that use a square geometry, which in the hexagonal is much more complicated to design. And also highly heterogeneous problem for this, for this reactor. We see that there are a lot of different flavors of fuel materials in, the, in this reactor, especially in the blanket region, because we have fuel, the spent fuel that burn at different levels. So the composition will be different as well. And also, and the reactor in the because we use a fast spectrum neutrons, the neutrons tend to move in the longer distance. It means that the, the neutron moment is much more unpredictable because it moves longer distance than the than the thermal reactors. And also this is non-light water reactor that, that's already already developed today. And like most of method today are tailored for light water reactors. So that's why this kind of reactor is not really developed in terms of uh, the computational cost research and, and methods for simulation. Okay, uh, in a nuclear reactor, the current method to design and model and simulate the reactor is use one of these three methods, the Monte Carlo methods, neutron transport and neutron diffusion. Monte Carlo method is the golden standard because it's very accurate, but it's also very expensive in the in terms of the computational cost. Because in here we simulate the reactor, uh, the neutron movement uh, with a lot of statistics, a lot of particles to get the accurate result. The next thing in the neutron transport is still very accurate, but still quite expensive because we model the neutron movement in different angular directions. And the last thing is the neutron diffusion, which is the least accurate, but, but cheap in terms of computational cost. What I did in my research is to combine these two methods, the neutron transport and neutron diffusion, into what's so called quasi diffusion method. And, and in this method, I also implemented a two step procedure, which I use um, a simple Monte Carlo model to homogenize the reactor and then get some data and then use that in my code, in, my, in, the, in the quasi diffusion method. Then also to treat the hexagonal geometry, I split the hex geometry into six triangular nodes. So why this matter? Because triangles is much more simple than hex. We know that uh, we know how to calculate the area. We know how to calculate many things in the, in the triangle because it only has three surfaces. It only has three corner points in a, in a triangle geometry. And with this, I can, I can have an accurate result with low computational cost. And and finally, we can, we can design, model, and simulate this kind of reactor, the sodium cold fast reactor, with high accuracy and, and cheap in terms of computational cost with this method. Okay, thank you.